Hello, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts uh, from Sweet Home Oregon. And today we are doing Julie and Leia's, Le Leia's, sorry, I always pronounce it wrong, 2022 Collage Challenge. It opened March 2nd. And on this one for March, it is hashtag 2022 Collage Challenge March, or M A R. That's what you'd put in it. And um, anyway, if you'd like to get involved with this, uh, contact Julie or Leia and let them know, and they will put you on the list. And oh, I didn't get out any math symbols, so I'll have to look for that. Um, but I kind of made a quick write down for myself. Um, the style is medieval. The theme is winter. There's the color is orange or peach. So I brought along some pumpkin <laughs> and then I brought along some inks, dried marigold, spiced marmalade, and abandoned coral. <clears throat> um, we need paper, which is either tissue paper, napkin, deco, rice paper, that kind of thing. Need a focal point of a butterfly, a bee, an insect, or a bug. Ooh, I'll have to find a butterfly. Um, stamps, the marks we make on this one are going to be stamp, stencil, or ink. The shapes are keyboard or math symbols. And our bonus is bling, which is, you know, blingy stuff. Could even be stickles. We have a couple of mathy type items. Okay, so I am using some paper from uh, Medieval Mirage, and I may use some from Journal Centric, and they are the medieval theme. So let's collage this on first. I have brought back my collage medium. And hopefully it will apply better this time. I probably need to work faster than I did last time. And probably There we go. Probably need to use this doodad. Oh, I do have my little um, I do have this. This might work. I don't know. I've seen other people use it for collage. So let's try it. I think I like the brush a little better. But I don't know. We'll see.
Okay. Hard to tell that they're winter bunnies when they're all collaged down, huh? And here we have a bird that we're going to use part of. Sorry, I'm going to cut him off. I really am. It'll be okay, little bird. You'll be in the collage this way. See, he's just flying into the page now. And so that is very good because birds love to fly in and fly out. It's going to cover up the little bit of the math. That's okay. We like it that way. So we have a little bit of winter there. And let's see. Let's take a little bit of this winter tree and put it right down here with the bunnies and here's some more well let's take this one oh still got napkin on it It's just this is a two layer napkin. So I gotta peel off both layers. And we want to take off some of this top piece so we can better collage it on. Over here maybe. single or a double page? I don't know. Better tape it back down there. <laughs> okay. Now, what next? I think next we need to dry this off. So I'm going to cover my collage medium going to put this in my water and just let it sit. That'll help keep my brush soft. And I'm going to throw that in there and this one in there to get them to, um, you know, just settle them down a little bit and get the paint off of them. There. Let me put that tape away. Oh, we have some more of this tree if we want to use it. And I want to cover up my ink. So the papers are, again, from Medieval Mirage. So far, that's all we're using. And I want to just dry this off a little bit.
just relaxes me. I, the sound's probably driving you nuts. But I just sit here and watch it kind of dry a little bit. And of course, it's still sticky, but... Um, but it's just fun. Okay, I think it's dry enough to continue on. Now, I need some stencil in there, and I need some orange, and what else do I need? Um, I have this stencil. I should have put it behind the bunny. But I think maybe we'll put it right in here. I'm going to try and miss the bunny. And try and miss that lady there. So I think what we'll do, well, we might get the bunny might be behind the wall a bit. But what I want to do is take my falling paste. Oh, where's my where's my doodad? I bet I took it over to the other drawer. Hold on one second. I'm going to walk across the room to my drawer with my other paint supplies. And where would I find it? I don't know. Oh, that's watercolors. That depends. Where is it? Uh -huh. I'm looking for my long plastic palette knife. Here we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So, what I want to do is perhaps mix a little bit of this with some spiced marigold Ooh. you can see I'm just putting it on a piece of plastic Just a little spray, and then I want to mix it into this. You're thinking, what is she up to? Oh my gosh, what is she doing? Okay, so we're going to take this orangey yellowy color and it is going to become our windows of this scene here. Hopefully it will dry okay since it's got water mixed in with it. Makes it a little hard to work with. Okay, 
stay there. Now, I want to clean that off a little bit. And now we want to do our brick color. Um, do you think our brick is like abandoned coral? A really dark um, orange. We'll mix it with our other color too. Okay, that makes a pretty nice orange. A light orange. I think we need to add maybe. Maybe. Oh, we're not going to add this one. <clears throat> nope. That one is solid. Oh, let's see if this one's okay. It's a transparent thing, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it has a couple of books in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got my package from Emily today at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. Thank you, Emily. Okay, now we have a nice orange color. Can you see that? Okay. Now we are going to have to comb it down just a little bit. But that's okay because we're going to mix just a tad bit of a brownish color into it. This is raw umber. <laughs> Hard to get the cap back on when it's a well-loved paint. <laughs> just going to take a little bit. And just, I'm not going to mix it all the way in. Because I want it to have some stripedy effects in the in the brick. Give it some stripedy. Oops, we didn't want that in our window, did we? This is where it'd be easy to just kind of go crazy and <laughs> and just start laying down the color and having fun. I might end up covering up my lady over here. Sorry, my lady. It wasn't my intention, but you're in the window. Okay, so now that is a window right there. So we need to go back and grab some more of this color and put it back on here where the yellow is and apply our spiced marigold. Mm, got a little bit of molding paste on there. Mm. 
I'm not going to mix water into this one. Okay, now let's go through and see if we can kind of make our window in there. Not very well. But a little bit. Let's add some orange right up here. Okay. Should we see what it looks like? <laughs> or should we just run the other way? Run, you said? <laughs> Let's run! <laughs> okay. Here we go. We're going to peel it back very carefully. Try not to mess it up too bad. Well, it's not too bad. So, now what do we do with that color in there? Hmm, what I need is a little paintbrush, huh? Oh, I just covered the lady's face. Sorry, lady. I did really like you, though. Let's see, I think I need some of that brown, more of the brown. So anyway, you kind of get the idea that it's supposed to be brick. <laughs> brick of some kind. Here, we'll just let it go.
And then we have a beautiful window here that is lit up because there's people inside. So we get the idea that we have our medieval area. I'm going to throw that in the water. And then probably I need to go around this window with maybe a little bit of a dark brown like that raw umber again. Didn't need that much. And I am going to need a paintbrush. So let me grab a paintbrush. It's not a very good brush for this. It's ancient times. The wood is very... Uh, <laughs> Very flexible wood. It's very grainy and stickery wood. That's what I wanted to say. And then she says, well, what did I do there? Whoops, I'm scrape it on this side. Should have just got out my uh, pens. Or maybe a better, maybe a younger ink or a younger paint instead of this old one. <laughs> maybe my paint is. Separating an old. I am purposely jaggling it. <laughs> In case you wonder. Let me get a different brush. Let's try this. Okay. 
Okay, that's working a little better. Um, what do I do with that brown? I wonder if I have another brown. Oh well, use what you're using. The wood would have been very dark, I think, then anyway. Make sure I'm using acrylics, that would help. I thought I was, but and I am. Okay, whoops, <laughs> just dropped my paintbrush right into my paint. And she threw her paintbrush down right over there. Now, we need to put a little bit more down here on the bottom. Whoops, just mixed my paint with my stuff. And we 
just need to add a little bit of window down here. Not much. I guess I could have just done it with paint. But what the heck, we're using medium, we might as well use it. There's a hair. Okay, now I do not like how that window was shaped there. You can see it's kind of a weird thing. I would rather it was shaped like this. So I'm going to fix it because I don't like the way it's shaped. It doesn't work for me. be darker at the top anyway but we can still fix it um, <laughs> oh there's hardly any left in this one <gasps> Whoa. now there's probably be none left in that one did not want that much. Glad I got my other jeans on today. I do I rinse my brush off right in that same that same <laughs> gluey water. Just a bit of gesso hair for that color, for that white, I mean for the yellow. Now, we do need to add some spiced marigold to it because that is the main color of it. Can't do it. Well, it's going to have to do. It's just a collage. <laughs> okay. Done with that part. Okay, these will have to go to a big soak of water. Um, we have some winter. What else do we need? We have some math numbers. Um, I don't have any math symbols in there. Well, yeah, I got a cent sign.
stamp stencil ink. We got that. Bling. We need bling. Well, bling. I think before I put bling on there, I'm going to um, add a snowdrop or two. What could I mix with that? to put my snow in. Maybe we'll just bling it with snow. Hang on. Oh, let's see. Stardust and Twinkle. I don't think I have any more of the snow one. So here is Twinkle, and these are just stickles. Can I just put dots on and make it look like snow? Not very well. Let's just put some snow here on this tree. And let's put some snow on the castle. Around the windows. bit where the bunnies are. Now normally stickles are supposed to stickle up. But I'm going to just kind of rub it down in. I'm going to put a little bit on my windows so they look a little frosty. Just plugged up. My stickles are stuck, you guys. There we go. it in here.
Oh, this will be terrible. This will be terrible. I know it will be. But I'm going to do it. Just a little bit. Ready? It will be messy, but we're going to do it. Let's try some stardust and see if it's just a little bit different. Oops. Did not want that. Okay, we've got that. Now, do we have everything? Let's see. Where's my, where's my list? Okay, Medieval Mirage. Medieval. The theme is winter. We have some winter bunny and a cardinal and a winter tree. And we have orange brick wall and a very light marigold for the windows. Our tissue paper is our bunny rabbits and our bird. We used a, a stencil to make this castle wall with this church window. Our math shapes or keyboard stuff, I'm using this little addition here and this tape measure and the scent sign. And my bling is the snow and this little plasticky snow. So there we go. So, <clears throat> as you know, I forgot my specimen. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> um, not my specimen, my insect, or my butterfly, or my bee. So I dug out this old kit of my little specimen guys, and we're going to glue him down here. This is from the consortium packet, I think it's called. So we're going to just glue that right down on some of our snowflakes. And we'll put this word specimen by it. <laughs> Seems like it was like, oh no, I was <laughs> just went to take a break and I was like, oh, I forgot. So there we go. Now it's done. <laughs> there we go. It's not a very good focal point, but I really feel like I need to do some more here to this piece here. Kind of finish it off. But. I don't know. It's kind of like it needs a bush on there or something. Or 
a line or I don't know. Where is that napkin? Let's see. I don't know if I could get that on there. That would cover up my bunnies. Oops. Sorry about that. I accidentally hit the button to my whatchamacallit. So let's let's just get this napkin here. We're going to end up covering up our bunnies a little bit. I've got to take this um, napkin apart. So I'm going to get a little piece of washi tape here. And peel off one part of it and flip it around and peel off the other one. Get those two plies off of there. And I think we'll put this right here. And that will kind of help that to look a little bit better. And let's see. I'm going to have to use our collage medium again. still have my towel down here in the top of the trash. I'll just use it. bit of snow there on that collage. Where did it go? Oh yeah, that's a little better. That kind of helps that look a little bit more normal. But we'll take another one. And we're going to just kind of put it right here. There we go. That does help a little bit. Let's put a pine cone. Hanging around. I 
right about here. if it's any better this is it that one of those points where you put it back on and it's really bad <laughs> okay so there we are now it is done I'm calling it done whether it's done or not it's not bad well, let's see yeah, it looks better with kind of a bush in there, I think. I think that helps a little bit. Okay, well, thank you for joining me, and I hope you had fun. It, um, it's always fun to do collages. So that's what that looks like. And there's my specimen. My focal point. <laughs> I think my focal point ended up over here, but I guess I should have put my, a bug there. Okay, well, thanks for joining me, and thanks for coming back and letting me put that bug in. I'll talk to you later. Bye.